Welcome to Community of Love Christian Fellowship, where God loves you and we do too. Join us in person on Sundays from 12.30 to 1.30 p.m. for 60 minutes of dynamic praise, inspiring fellowship, and life-changing worship. Point your GPS to 557 Cambridge Street in the Austin neighborhood of Boston, Massachusetts, 02134. Visit us on the web at colcf.org. That's colcf.org. To learn more about our Friday evening services, our various ministries, and our upcoming special events. Now, let's join the service already in progress.
This afternoon, I have a word for you from the Lord. It's one that I addressed with for a while, but this morning at 3.30 a.m., I had a, 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 a wake-up call that said, today is the day to preach this one. Divine disruptions, divine disruptions, divine disruptions. If you've had the experience like I had this morning where the smoke detector, amen, went off for the intermittent side, and it wasn't the one acknowledging that there was fire, amen. It wasn't the one that suggested that we needed to get up and get out, amen. It was the one that beat every 60 seconds. Yes, I laid in bed at 3 30 morning and I count. Every 60 seconds you heard dee -dee -dee, and then it disappeared. And I'm reminded that it was 3.30 because some of my mentors who have traveled the road of life a little longer than I have often talk about how the Lord wakes them up in the middle of their slumber to speak to them. And, and just this week as I uh, had breakfast with one of my mentors, he talked about on that very day the Lord woke him up at 3.30 in the morning. He couldn't get back to sleep and the Lord just wrestled with him about some of the things that, that he was dealing with. And so as the smoke uh, detector with an intermittent alarm beep, every 60 seconds I was mindful that this was a divine disruption. See, disruption is an unplanned deviation from an expected situation or experience. It's, it's unplanned. It, it, it's something that happens that alters your life. A disruption, a disruption. We have disruptions all the time in our lives. Something happens that you didn't plan for, and all of a sudden you need to put all of your time, energy, and attention into trying to resolve that situation. Somebody calls, somebody says something, you witness something, you perhaps even did something to cause a disruption. Amen. They change the very nature of the regular flow of your life. But then a divine disruption is when God reminds us that it's not about our wills, but it's about His will. And so God will orchestrate disruptions in your life just to see if God can have your attention. And don't get me wrong, brothers and sisters, I believe in free choice. I believe that God allows us to make decisions on our own, that God doesn't demand certain things. That in our ability to be obedient, we have to make a choice towards obedience. That's why we long for holiness and long for righteousness. It's our longing for our discipline in order to make the right decisions, in order to be holy and to be righteous. So in these divine disruptions, we find that God is interrupting the flow of our life. Y'all got to walk with me for a second because I've preached this before, but I gotta say this. Many of us have done everything right. We've gone to school, we've studied, we've gotten good marks, we've won the awards, we've graduated with honors, we've networked, we've made friends, we've associated with our professors and our instructors, we've ditched the friends who were who were uh, leeches, who were unhealthy. And we made new friends and new seeds. We've done everything right. But yet, every now and then, we have a disruption in life. And it causes great frustration. Now, I'm being overly sensational because, of course, none of us have ever done everything right. There's always a little hidden something that we did or we thought about doing that we know wasn't right with the fact that we thought about it. So don't, 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 don't buy too much in. We are all perfected. But the point is that in the journey of life, we have a clarity of right and wrong. And if we weigh the balance, we have done more right than wrong. And yet, what we can perceive as wrong things happen to us. How do we process this? How do we process this? How do we process this? In our scripture for this afternoon, taken from the Old Testament, Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 and 19. Praise God if you have a digital device, you want to punch that in. Amen. Call it up. If you have your analog Bible, we want to let your fingers do the walk while I keep talking. Isaiah 43, 18 and 19. 
the Lord has a word that he delivered to the people of Israel through the prophet Isaiah. And he says this, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? See, see, I will make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. And who got Instagram thing and had 
recalibrated my heartbeat. It recalibrated my breathing pattern. It recalibrated my focus. It recalibrated the way that I hear the sounds of life. It recalibrated everything that I need to be reset. So do I. 